Hey everybody, Keith K here with a quick Stranded Deep mini tutorial. Today we are going to look at the use of the loom. Uh, this is one of the new structures that has been included in Stranded Deep since the last couple of updates. <clears throat> and uh, you're going to need it in order to be able to craft cloth right here, cloth, which is used to create bandages at the moment. I think that's the only thing and the fire torch. So you can see you need one cloth and one stick to create a fire torch and you need one cloth and one lashing to create a bandage. So first of all you're going to need to create the loom itself <clears throat> and you're going to need six sticks and four lashings and you can see one of the new features added to the crafting menu is it tells you how many you have. So I've got five of the four needed lashings and I've got plenty of wood sticks. So, like anything else with crafting, you just select it and place it. Um, I actually already have one here. Um, one of the things that is different <clears throat> about the loom, and this is also true for the tanning rack, is you don't interact with it. There's nothing you can do to interact with the loom. It's just that when you go to craft a... When you go to craft a cloth, you need to be near the loom. So I've got loom one of one and fibrous lead, leaves seven of four. So now I can craft this and just drop it. But I have to be somewhat near my loom. And we're losing daylight, so I'll be back when the sun comes up. All right, and we're back. Once we have our cloth, we can go ahead and go to the crafting menu, make sure we're on tools, and go and craft ourselves a bandage. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. And once we have that, we can actually pick the bandage up and use it should we get hurt. So that's about it for the loom. I'll see you back here for my next tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks and see you again.